Well, children, before you head off to Sunday school, I have, as I almost always do, a question for you. And uh, that question is uh, a question, and be clear, this is not a recommendation. It is a question. Have you ever played with matches? No? Good. Don't play with matches. I have to tell you that when I was young, even though my parents had told me not to play with matches, I remember doing exactly that. I played with matches. I lit a match, and it was burning, and the flame was so bright and beautiful, and I let it burn and burn until it hit my finger. I burned my finger and my thumb so badly that they were black. It was not good. You see, fire can be really nice. How many of you have been at a bonfire? Yeah. How many of you have roasted hot dogs or s'mores? Yeah. How many of you have a wood stove in your house that helps keep your house warm? Or maybe a wood pellet furnace outside? Yeah, it's good. Fire can be really good, but if you get too close to it, it can burn you. At the same time, you know what else fire is used for? Fire is used to refine precious metal, to to take the gold that comes out of the ground, out of the rocks, and to heat it up so that all the impurities can go away and you can, you can get these bricks of gold that's just like gold. Or you can get beautiful jewelry and rings. So fire can be really, really useful. But it can also be very, very deadly. Fire can be your friend. It can also be your enemy. The Bible tells us that God is light. The Bible tells us also that God is like a refining fire. The Bible tells us too that God is holy and perfect. So if you put all those things together in the theological math, the Bible math, you know that God is a perfect and holy fire. And God as a perfect and holy fire doesn't put up with anything that is imperfect. Anything that is not perfectly good. Now, children, how many of you are perfectly good? Uh, okay, adults, you've heard this question before. How many of you are perfectly good? <laughs> yeah, you're a funny guy. That's right. Amen, brother. About as far from being perfectly good as you can possibly get. And that's not just you. <laughs> that's, that's all of us. So, when we come to God, God is who we need. We're so messed up and we need the warmth of God. We need the refining fire of God. We need something to cleanse us, children. But, we're also going to get burned real bad because we're so not good. So, what do we do? God is is who we most need, and God can be our worst enemy because He doesn't tolerate us in our sinfulness. Well, this is what we're going to talk about as adults today because today is Transfiguration 
Sunday. This is the Sunday where we look at the Bible story where Jesus goes up on a mountain and he spends time with a couple of his disciples and, and there he is transformed so that his face, his whole body is radiant with light and the disciples see him for who he is. They see him as holy and perfect and full of light and fire. And yet, they survive. They live. And that is because Jesus is the bridge between the holy fire and the messed up people that you and I are. He's the one that cleans us from all our sins. So, children, have you read the story The Voyage of the Dawn Treader or seen the movie by C.S. Lewis? No, none of you? Wow, you guys got to do some work, parents. Read them some Narnia. Okay, in The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, there's a boy named Eustace who becomes a dragon because he is greedy. And Aslan has to transform him back into a boy. And Aslan cuts this dragon skin off in layers upon layers that it hurts so badly. But eventually, Eustace the boy comes out. That is what Jesus does for us. Cuts the dragon out of us. Cuts the impurities out of us. Burns the impurities out of us. And it might hurt a lot sometimes, but then we can be pure as Jesus calls us to be. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so very much for the fact that you sent your Son to clean us of all of the sins so that we, O oh God, can be together with you without being consumed or destroyed by your fire. Lord, help these children to always grow so that they can be, they can be children of God and radiant, reflecting the light of their King. Be with them in Sunday school, we pray. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Alright children, off you go. Sunday school it is.